and that we can move forward and we're going to have to have a special meeting of the board to approve that mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. just just pencil it in guys um, I want to I would really like to retain the construction manager they are experienced they will help us actually make our decisions in terms of moving forward. Uh, they, they know how to run projects, and I think they could be very helpful in that community uh, meeting project. Um, you know, if not necessarily there, but just help us figure out how we're going to be able to talk. You know, how, how is this going to work? They're going to, going to be, you know, sort of partners. So I think it's important to get the construction manager on board retain because I don't think we have a prayer of getting this done if we don't get that person retained. Approving it the 90 percent plan, I, I understand what you're saying, but I still think it sort of moves it along because we can still say no, it's not going to work. Right. So I think we need to take a vote. Yeah. So can I get a motion from somebody to approve the uh, plan as presented 90 percent with the understanding there will be a meeting. Uh, public meeting. When you keep saying 90 percent, what do you mean by 90 percent? 90 percent document that Jody has. That, that <laughs> remember the multi-page. Oh. So is it, is it possible to ask a question? Or so there's been a motion. Uh, is there a second? I, yes. Who, 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 I'll who, I made the motion. Thank you. I'll second. Okay, it's second. Okay. Now okay. for the discussion. Uh, could you define what a 90 percent plan is? Sure. The 90% <clears throat> construction document plan is a set of technical documents that was produced as a follow-up to the master plan that was adopted in March 20th. So that construction document set more narrowly um, addresses the scope items, which are tied to a budget. Um, I can list those things if it would help. The items that are in the 90% plan include uh, Hardscape improvements such as the snowmelt system, the concrete paving, the bluestone paving. They include landscape improvements, <coughs> tree shrubs, perennials, ground cover, soil amendments, topsoil, lawns, and mulches. They include all the site furnishings that we've talked about, um, the signage, the interpretive signage, the bike racks. They include the electrical improvements, that's the lighted bollards, the uplighting, all wired and conduit. So, what the 90% document does is this is what we've met twice with the committee to review in more detail, but those um, provide more technical detail, um, sizes, locations, quantities um, for those uh, those items. So is that the 535, 725 before the 15% contingency? Oh, yes. Okay. So it's been moved and se seconded. Right. Sure, go Be ahead. Before we go on, I'm sure going to ask a question. Okay. So you've got a question. Does your 90% uh, mean that the current uh, wildflower garden will be removed and replaced? So in that 90% set, yes, the committee's direction to our firm was to replace the existing garden okay. with a larger garden. So, so that it's not just choosing new plants, it includes destroying the wildflower garden, which is one of the reasons that at least I know I'm here was to try to save it. So I just want that point to be understood. Mm -hmm. So if we approve it, you know, the 90%, but after, after the community meeting, we say, you know what, that piece, we're, we're going to change the design of the plan. We've heard from the community. We've heard from the children's uh, department in terms of their intended use of it. We're going to change that. That would be a change, sure. and it would probably cost some design. It, it would be a new design no matter what we do anyway. Um, so we just have to accept that that's what the community wants and you know if after the library evaluates what the intended use so but everything else that's the only only that one corner what is it 500 square feet it's 800 and Eight. 800 so square, square feet. feet other than that that Which other is actually than being in, increasing the pollinator garden by 340 square feet yeah. from its so current size everything else would be probably non-controversial, I believe. Um, so I think with that, we should move forward with the recognition that, that we have to change that after we get 
a chance to really dig into it with the community, with the concern, then, then, but let's get it out there and move forward right. the way it is. So it's been moved and seconded. Yes, and I would like to move to make an, adv uh, <clears throat> an amendment to the uh, motion. I move to amend the original motion to separate the approvals needed into two parts. Part one the hardscape parts of renovations such as the heated sidewalks, building exterior, etc. Part two, the landscape parts, including redoing the native garden, other plantings, etc. These things can run concurrently. We don't have to stop either one of them, but we need to pay more attention to what May we're I doing your here. Okay, Jan is offered an amendment. Is there a second? Okay. Don't we have to vote on the first thing? Uh, no, she's no. She no. To okay. Is there a second to, to the amendment? amendment? Second. Okay, there's been a second. Um, all in favor of the amendment? Um, I, I have a, a question. Um, mm -hmm. I believe that uh, in a, a motion of this sort um, with a dollar figure attached needs to have a dollar figure attached to it. Um, in, as we are still in an estimating phase right okay. now, you may want to do a not to exceed, but I do feel that since this, there, there is money attached to this decision, the board needs to make a, um, mm -hmm. a motion and, um, with the, the figure. I have another concern. If we proceed with landscape and defer Excuse me, if we proceed with hardscape and defer a landscape decision, then we need to landscape twice because you cannot tear up the lawn to deal with the mechanical requirements of lighting and a sprinkler system and whatever else needs to be amended and leave it unfinished until you get around to doing the, quote, final landscape. So you would have to landscape twice if you separate these. I see no advantage in splitting them because the board retains the authority to make a go-no-go no go decision at, before we issue the bid specs for what we're going to do in 45 to 60 days. So we have time to be able to make that decision without driving up the cost by requiring that we landscape twice. You cannot leave, you cannot do the hardscape and the other installations of lighting and other things that I think are very important and ignore that you have that you would simply leave the mess behind in the landscape areas. We'd have to deal with that, mm -hmm. and getting, that would add cost. It's getting late. It's getting it nine o'clock. But so I like, think that the work can begin on the hardscape while further analysis. Jane, can you can you provide an uh, um, estimate and then uh, for and then put it to vote? Well, but I don't understand. Are we I don't think I don't think we've done the first one. Well, yeah, we have to vote. devote. We have to vote on the amendment. Let, right. uh, all in favor of the amendment? Aye. Aye. No. 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 Okay. Um, we'll have a vote on the original motion, which is to proceed with the ninety percent drawings, to schedule a meeting, um, a, uh, a public meeting, um, where we get really more complete public input, including, I hope, and thank you for the time that you're going to be able to provide, you know, more time at that meeting. Um, the and Before, just a the brief discussion number, before the point. The, the, let me, the dollar number attached to that is, not is, to exceed that. is that six, okay, so how about $650,000? Okay, I, I wanted to test that dollar number. Dan? Thank you. Just brief discussion. If we're meeting on the 21st, Six. if we're meeting on the tw if the board's meeting on the 22nd, it would be make sense no, to have to that public meeting happen before then. It would. So hopefully we can. We'll do our best. So if it can't happen here, I'm sure we can find some space in the village to hold that meeting before that day. Thank you.
Um, okay, so it's been moved and seconded to continue with the drawings, um, but to hold a public meeting and hopefully get some better clarity on all of this by the end of January. Um, Jan, will you call the roll? I might. <laughs> <laughs> Trustee Johnson. No. <laughs> Trustee George. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee O'Laughlin. Yes. Trustee Varshis. No. Okay. All right. We're going to proceed and we're going to meet in January and um, so we'll be in touch to figure out when this meeting is actually going to take place and really see if we can have a back and forth rather than having presentations at a board meeting, which is has its own limitations. Mm -hmm. Moving right along, uh, we need to hire a construction manager. And uh, Anthony, why don't you talk to that qu quickly? Okay, so uh, um, I've, I've sent you email correspondence um, recommending Shales McNutt Construction. Um, you'll find the information from my memo behind tab five. Mm -hmm. um, overall, I feel um, Shales McNutt is highly qualified for this position. Um, they've done a number of library construction projects. They understand what it's like to work um, in a public library environment and to sustain operations um, while a construction project is going on. I was impressed in my meeting with Shales McNutt when they, they both came on site um, and walked through uh, the grounds with us as well as addressing all of the questions that I had for them. Um, they performed um, very well and responsibly um, in responding to my specific questions and requests regarding this project. They had some really innovative ideas about how we might be able to phase um, uh, certain elements of this project so that we can keep the library open and not close for any portion of the construction phase that would affect the entrance to the library. Um, we have a really unique uh, space um, in the fact that we do not have a lot of parking at the library. There are going to be construction vehicles that are going to need to be um, on site for this project that's going to impact access to the library anyway. Um, Shales is very well aware of, um, of what those conditions are, and I feel that we're going to get a great result if we work with them. Um, they're going to be a great partner. Um, that's all my objective analysis. Um, my uh, subjective analysis is that I have experience working with this firm. Um, I worked with them most recently at the Mount Prospect Library on a lobby renovation, um, interior renovation project and I found that their communication was exceptional. Um, they were very well involved in um, the uh, planning phases um, in getting that project out to bid and returning really responsible bidders for that project, um, and they got great results at Mount Prospect. So um, I feel that we would be able to, to duplicate the same here. Um, John Shales is here this evening. If you have any questions for him, um, we, can, uh, we can engage him. You can stand a long time. Yeah. We could have gotten you a chair. Yeah. OK, well, so do you think it's possible to run the landscaping project next to and at the same time with the other project so that there is time still for input on the landscaping project? With regard to the plans? Yes. Yeah, I, I would defer to Jody with regard to the best timing for that. I think she's already said that pretty clearly. Uh, plans typically would be some of the last things that go in mm -hmm. uh, in sequence of construction at that point. So we'd be pushing those limits in May mm -hmm. uh, to get those in. Uh, so we'd have to be really careful about that. But yeah, you know, I think there's some, still some time. But as has been said, uh, if you meant way much longer than January, then it really gets doubtful at that point. I understand that. <laughs> Um, okay, we have a proposal then. Um, it's actually the last part of their proposal. Do we adopt this? Um, I mean, how? So, the mic, huh? yes. so um, the costs that are associated with um, hiring a construction manager, yes. there are fixed costs and there are also various <laughs> costs that are associated with this. Um, the proposal that we have is based upon a project that has an estimated, estimated value of $750,000. Um, what we motioned just a while ago was a project that was not to exceed six fifty. dollars um, In calculating um, that the uh, retaining the services of, of Shales McNutt Construction would be approximately a 13% total of the project. I think if you were to suggest that um, a not to exceed for this project at this stage would be uh, not to exceed 100,000, I think that we would be able to be within that. Okay, you got a motion to retain uh, Shales McNutt 
uh, as construction manager for this project. You want to go ahead? Okay. Sure. Get a second? <laughs> okay. It's been moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Moved. Pardon? You moved. You moved. I, yeah, you so moved. there isn't a second, right? Okay. Oh, I'll okay. Second. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Virginia moved. Jenny moved. Jenny moved. Jenny moved. Jenny moved. Jenny moved. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. At a cost not to exceed hundred thousand. Um, not to exceed one hundred thousand um, dollars. Any further discussion on this? Uh, I would say this. Um, I'll, I'm going to vote for it because since you know. The majority's taken a position. I think we were kind of guessing at timelines, and none of us are construction experts. So, um, to me, our best path to having a better January, where hopefully, well before the board meeting, we all meet, we're going to need somebody smart like him to tell us what the real deal is and what we can change if there's a consensus, which I hope there will be to change it. So, uh, despite uh, given that the board made a decision, I think we ought to hire him so that our next month, when we all get together, and this hopefully gets changed so that everybody's happy, somebody knows what they're doing and help guide us down that path. Okay. It's been moved I second. Would, I would add to that.